Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. On what we have here, which is 4 raised to the power x minus 2 equals to 40 here. This here follows when we have a raised to the power m minus n, which is the same thing as a raised to the power m over a raised to the power n. That is here. This becomes 4 raised to the power x over 4 square equals to 40 on this side. That is, we can rewrite this as 4 raised to the power x over 4 square here, that's 16. And equals to here, we can write this as 40 over 1. The next step here, we cross multiply. Then 4 raised to the power x times 1. See, it's the same thing as 4 raised to the power x, then equals to 40 times 16 here. Yeah. That is, next step here, yeah. we take the log on both sides, and this becomes log 4 raised to the power x equals to log 40 times 16 here. Yeah. That is, next step we apply the power of logarithm. When we have log m raised to the power p, this same thing as p log m. That is, this becomes x log 4 equals to log 40 times 16 here. That is, next step here, we divide both sides by log 4. Divide this side by log 4 and also divide this side by log 4 that is log 4 cancel each other here and we have x left that is x now equals to log 40 times 16 then over log 4 here then from what we have here this follows from the law of log u when we have log a times b which same thing as log a plus log b. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to log 40 plus log 16 then over log 4 here. Yeah. The next step, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 40 over log 4 plus log 16 over log 4 here. Then from here, we can express 16 as 4 times 4, which is 4 squared. Then what we have becomes x equals to log 40 over log 4 then plus log 4 squared over log 4. Then here we apply the power law of logarithm. That this 2 comes here and this becomes x equals to log 40 over log 4 then plus 2 log 4 over log 4 here. Then here log 4 cancel each other. We have 2 left here. And what we have becomes x equals to log 40 over log 4, then plus 2 here. And also from here, we can express 40 as 4 times 10. Then what we have becomes x equals to log 4 times 10 over log 4 from here then we have plus 2 here and here also this follows the law of logarithm and this becomes x equals to log 4 plus log 10 over log 4 then plus 2 here that is here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 4 
over log 4 10 plus log 10 over log 4 plus 2 here and also here log 4 cancel each other we have 1 left and this becomes x equals to 1 plus here we can write 2 then plus log 10 over log 4 here that is what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus 2 here that's 3 then plus log 10 over log 4 and also here we can express 10 as 2 times 5 here and this this becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 times 5 then over log 4 here and also here this follows the law of logarithm and we have x now equals to 3 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 4 which implies also we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 over log 4 then plus log 5 over log 4 then next step also we can express 4 here as 2 times 2 which is 2 square that this what we have becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 over log 2 square plus log 5 over log 2 square that is we apply the power of logarithm here 2 comes here and also from here and we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 over 2 log 2 then plus log 5 over 2 log 2 here and log 2 cancel each other we have 1 over 2 left at this here we have x equals to 3 plus 1 over 2 then plus also here we can write this as 1 over 2 log 5 over log 2 then from here we have x equals to 3 plus 1 over 2 give us 7 over 2 then plus half times here applying change of base from log a over log b which we can write as log a to base b what we have becomes log 5 to base 2 and also here we have two comma as s here and we can write this as x equals to 7 plus log 5 base 2 all over 2 here so here we have the value of x in this given problem as x equals to 7 plus log 5 base 2 over 7 now let's check here if this satisfies this given problem that is we substitute the value of x which is x equals to 7 plus log 5 base 2 all over 2 here yeah? then what we have becomes 4 raised to power 7 plus log 5 base 2 over 2 then minus 2 up here yeah? is equals to 40 on this side then the fraction here we can bring it together as one well. that is we have 4 raised to the power SCM there that's 2 and this still remains 7 plus log 5 base 2 then minus 4 here now is equals to 40 on this side that is here we can bring this together 7 minus 4 that's 3 so we have 4 raised to the power 3 plus log 5 base 2 over 2 is equal to 40 on this side that is next step we can express 4 as 2 square which is 
plus 2 3 plus log 5 plus 2 over 2 is equal to 40 on this side and here this power multiplies which implies 2 here comes each other so we have 2 raised to power 3 plus log 5 base 2 left is equal to 40 from here then we separate this from the law of indices and this becomes 2 raised to power 3 times 2 raised to power log 5 base 2 is equal to 40 from here and 2 raised to power 3 here has 8 then times here this follows when we have a raised to power log 5 log b this a which is equals to b and this here same thing as 5 is equals to 40 here and of course here 8 times 5 here same thing as 40 which is equals to 40 on this side left hand side equals to the right hand side and from here we conclude that x equals to 7 plus log 5 is 2 all over 2 satisfy this given code and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe to master t matlab and turn the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up put your comments and see you next class bye for now